Monsignor Vitizvi, oho! Staras Central Manca Sloto Porciconi. Nomo estas Hindu, mi lojas en Kathmandu, Nepalo. Understand? No. Well, that's because these people are speaking Esperanto, an artificial language made up more than a century ago, right here in Bialystok, Poland, by this man, Ludwig Samenhof. Samenhof, mon grand-père, tout jeune. When Samenhof, my grandfather, was young, he watched spats between people who couldn't understand each other. And he said to himself, if these people could understand each other, 
and they would be able to understand the reason for their differences and then they could learn to appreciate their differences. Esperanto speakers say the language is easy to learn, pronounce and use. While it never really caught on the way Zamenhof hoped, many still believe in his ideals for global harmony. From a very young age, uh, we, we all spoke Esperanto in the house. Um, English was, was a kind of close second. For the 2,000 Esperanto speakers who came here to mark the 150th anniversary of Zamenhof's birth, it's a time to buy the latest translated books and brush up on their skills. National language is a ban during the Congress, but communicating has apparently never been so simple. I spoke Esperanto when I went to China. There's no way I'd have been able to talk with Chinese people if we talked in English. I'd have had to stick to the basics, buying breakfast, a cup of coffee, nothing more than that. I can speak Esperanto with Chinese people the way I'm speaking with you now. I can even talk about philosophy. But there are still too few people to philosophize with. Esperanto speakers are thought to number from hundreds of thousands to up to two million. Too few in a world of 6.8 billion.